Hi everybody, I'm back with another upcycling tutorial to share with you today. We are going to be transforming these iPhone boxes. For this project, you'll need an iPhone box or another sturdy made box. I'm just showing you that I store my Distress Ink reinkers in this box here. It fits perfectly. You'll also need a pair of scissors, some spray adhesive, a box of course, and some metal poles. This is optional, but it adds such a beautiful finishing touch. And I'll provide the link in the description below for where you can find these ones. You're also going to need some of these brads to adhere the label pole to the box. You'll need a paper piercer, and of course, you're going to need some paper to cover your box. I love working with Lokta paper because it's really strong and flexible. This color is called Salmon, and you can pick it up from Dick Blick or Jerry's Art to Rama. So I'm just gonna position my box. I'm just trying to see if all the sides can be covered by the paper, both the outside and the inside of the box. So I'm going to take the paper outside and use my spray adhesive in a well-ventilated area. And I'm just showing you here that the spray adhesive is all on it. And I'm just going to try to figure out the best position for this box. I know that it's not going to cover the full interior of the box, but I do want it to cover the sides of the box. Working with spray adhesive actually is a little bit easier than you think. The only problem is that it does eventually get on your fingers and soap won't get it off and you don't want to use an adhesive remover because you don't want that on your skin. But I noticed that a little bit of oil or lotion that has some oil in it helps kind of break up the adhesive. Okay, so you want to um, trim both sides on either side of the box so that you can have some flaps that easily fold over on the sides of the box. Now, in doing this, you end up, you know, kind of using extra paper, you could trim off the paper that's still on the table right now since all four sides are covered so that you could have that paper for the interior of the box. But I'm keeping this pretty simple and I'm just wrapping it up all around on all four sides. And then I'm going to use my scissors just to trim the edges in um, the sides into the box so that you can fold down these flaps into the box. So I'm just going to work on opposite corners here, just smoothing it, smoothing it into the box and making sure that um, there are no air bubbles or anything. And I can just use my fingers just to get it all smoothed out in the corners there. And you can see that there's a little bit of a white spot left inside the box. And had I used some of that extra paper um, before wrapping it around the paper, uh, wrapping it around the box, I could have used that uh, on the inside of the box. But I had this little piece of paper left and so I'm just going to just use my pair of scissors to trim down a piece that's big enough to fit on the inside and then I can take it out to um, outside again and put some spray adhesive on it and then it fits right into the box and it makes a nice finished um, area inside. I like to cover my boxes on the outside and the inside all with the same color in general unless I really run out of paper and then I, I might put two or three colors together. Okay, so I'm just eyeballing the center of the box so that I can put this label pull on the outside. I'm using my paper piercer to poke a hole through the box. It does take a little bit of effort because these boxes are quite thick and they're very well made. You just want to be mindful not to um, prick yourself on the inside because that paper piercer is quite sharp. Okay, so I had some trouble getting my brads in for this project, but eventually I can get all three brads in place. You can find these brads at local craft stores. They're really popular. They're easy to find. These are the kind used for crafting. They're not the really big chunky ones that you would use uh, or find at the office supply store. And I'm just using my paper piercer to pull back those prongs. It's not the best tool to do this with. They do actually make a tool for this purpose, but I'm just using my paper piercer. So it's all um, you know, in place right now. And now I just want to add I want to add a label and since I'm not sure what these boxes are going to be used for I'm adding kind of a generic label this one says every day and it's a Heidi swap stamp that you can pick up at Michaels and probably online at scrapbook.com so I'm just gonna fit that in place and this box is all done I love the way these turn out the colors are so beautiful and I'm just showing you the pair that I have now so the two on the bottom I made before, and this is the one that I just finished making now. 
And if you want to catch up on some of the other projects that I've made, you can click here for other tutorials for upcycling Apple product boxes. <laughs> and if you want to see more pictures, you can always check out my website at pepperandpine.com. All right, thanks for watching.